take a few deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you relax, you find yourself growing lighter and lighter. The surroundings seem to fade and you are wrapped in a warm, dark cloak of your own energy and mind. It is safe, warm, and comfortable. In your mind's eye, you begin to see soft light and slowly the view opens. You find yourself at the edge of a crystalline pool of water. The sky above is blue and there is a soft haze on the distant horizon. Above you, the sun and the moon can be seen together in the sky. You are not sure if it is dusk or dawn, but you know it is one of those powerful between times, a time in which there is a thinning of the veils between the physical and the spiritual. To your right and at the end of the pool is a waterfall. The spray from it is cool and misty, and where it touches the pool, water ripples outwards, distorting all reflections. It gives the area a surreal appearance. You look about you at the green grasses and the distant trees, and all is silent. It is a nature is in a state of quiet anticipation. You look back to the waterfall and you notice a dark area behind you. You move toward it, and as you stand close to the waterfall, you see a cave half concealed behind it. You step carefully behind the waters and into the muted darkness of the inner cave. You are surprised, for it is illuminated with soft torches. The light given off from them give you the open chamber of warmth. Somehow it looks familiar, and it makes you feel as if you were expected. To the back of the chamber is a tunnel that is also lit with torches. You glance over your shoulder to the area behind the waterfall and then walk further into the cave. It is as warm and comfortable as it first appeared. And as you step further in towards the back of the tunnel, you will feel a slight giddiness and a soft, childlike laugh slips out. For the first time in a long time, you feel like a child about to open and explore wondrous treasures of the world. You step from the chamber into the path of the tunnel and begin to follow it slowly. It is well lit and you are not at all uncomfortable. You reach out and touch the walls with your hands and you are surprised at their warmth. It is as if you could feel the life blood of the earth itself flowing through its walls. And you move further along, the tunnel widens and grows taller. The tortures are fewer and more distant, but you notice that it seems to be getting wider still. Then you pass a couple of torches that are not even lit. You stop and touch them just to confirm they have not recently gone out. And then as you look ahead, you see the, re the reason. The tunnel has widened so greatly that the sun is able to penetrate almost 50 yards back. You can see behind the end of the tunnel, there is a distant river and a lush green grass. The sunlight sparkles off of it as it would be the morning dew on a summer's day. Across the field is the edge of rich, deep green forest. You pause only a moment, and then you run the last 50 yards and burst from the tunnel into the warm sunlight of this beautiful meadow. The sun is warm upon your face, the grass soft beneath your feet. Your nose is teased with the fragrance of honey and spring wildflowers. The air is sweet, and you tilt your head back and stretch your arms wide. You open and 
where you spin and swirl and laugh at the beauty and lightness of this meadow. Next to the river is a large ancient oak tree. Surrounding it is the greenest and most lush grass you have ever seen. You run to it, sit down beneath it, stretch out and roll in its softness, and you inhale its sweetness. Then you sit up. Next to the tree is a stone, shaped as if it was carved into a chair. You sit down upon it, and as you do, you find that it fits your form perfectly. It makes you giggle with wonder. You breathe deeply, and from this chair, you look about you. It is quiet and peaceful, and you know that this meadow is a place where wildlife must surely come. And for a moment, you envy the animals and the birds for having such a place of beauty. You sit upon that stone chair, and you enjoy the beauty of nature. It is as if with each breath you become more and more a part of it. It becomes more and more a part of you. Then suddenly your breath catches. You see a movement out of the corner of your eye at the edge of the forest. You hold your breath. Maybe you will get to see some wildlife. Then from among the trees comes movement. It may soar above you or it may step out into the meadow. You sit still, watching as an animal appears in your vision. Don't force it. Allow it to show you itself. And as it does, its, its eyes seek out and hold your gaze. Never have you even seen anything so wonderful, so unique. Such animals have always seemed so wild and out of touch. There is no fear as it moves closer, only recognition and wonder. Surely this must be a dream. Then as if in response to your thoughts, it makes a sound, a movement, a gesture, and you fix your eyes upon it. In that moment, you begin to understand. You catch glimpses of memories of how it may have helped you in the past. You now know why you have always been fascinated with it. And then it begins to move toward that tunnel. It pauses and turns to look back at you, as if telling you it's time to go on. You stand and begin to follow it. As you approach the mouth of the tunnel, it waits. It is so close with a few steps you could touch it. Carefully, gently, you extend your hand out to it. But before your hand gets close enough to actually touch it, it jumps and is heading back to the edge of the forest. It passes, looking back at you once more and then disappears into the green. You understand it will take time to develop a relationship. There is much you have to learn from each other. Until then, you must be patient. You smile with sweet sadness and then move back into the tunnel following you back to the waterfall. As you step from the cave and behind the waterfall, you look into the crystal pool. You see the reflection rippling, and then behind your reflection, you see the form of your animal totem. You catch your breath, and you laugh. Thank it for opening to you. As you do, its image disappears, and the scene around you begins to fade. You again, you are again in the warm darkness of your own mind. The image of your totem is strong within you. As you breathe deeply and allow yourself to come back to your surroundings. Start wiggling your toes. Moving the muscles in your legs. Moving your hips, your back and arms. Open your eyes. Thank you guys for tuning in to this meditation that was brought to you by Ted Andrews. I hope you enjoyed. This was Khaleesi Nikki, and I will see you next time. Wild blessings.